Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's episode of Disappointed Dragon. I found something really cool at the dollar store this time. It's been a while since I've been uh, kind of excited about the stuff we find at the dollar store. Uh, as you can see here, I've got three upside-down Millennium Puzzles. Uh, so I went to the dollar store the other day. I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I was just kind of killing time. Uh, and I was actually looking for candy corn for a baking thing I wanted to do for Halloween. But what I found instead was three Millennium Puzzles. So these are uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! blind boxes, combining my two great loves, Yu-Gi-Oh! and mystery boxes. Um, uh, it, I mean, it's probably been said on the channel before, but I really like Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been collecting it since it essentially came out. Uh, so I'm, I'm very fond of Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I, there's not a lot of information on the actual like box here. It just says that there's small parts. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! Copyright 2020. Uh, made by Fat Mojo, the not to three sad onions to quote uh, a much better YouTuber. <sighs> That's all it says. Now I did look on the box and what it looks like it's supposed to be is a little plastic figure of uh, one of the more popular monsters, Blue Eyes Dark Magician. I didn't look too closely at the set. Um, I believe there's a red eyes in there and it looks like there might be a handle inside so you can turn this into an actual Millennium Puzzle, which is awesome. Uh, they were $3 each, so we'll uh, 3 Canadian dollars each. So probably about $1.50 American. <laughs> so we'll see if they were worth uh, that expense. But, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. So the case is like a, sort of a gold plastic with sparkles embedded in it. But uh, we'll see. I I'm not usually a big fan of like statues, but as long as it's nice. So it looks like it just opens... It should open here. Yeah, okay, it does. It opens. Oh, it's actually like a little a little puzzle. So we've got the Winged Dragon of Ra. Comes a little card. It'd be so cool if it actually came with like a Yu-Gi-Oh card or like a miniature Yu-Gi-Oh card, but whatever, we'll take it. It's just it's just a cardboard little cutout of the Winged Dragon of Ra. And then let's see what else we have in here. Okay, so we've got a base. Uh, which has a textured Millennium Puzzle on it. That's pretty cool. And we do, in fact, have a handle. That is not the right size. Ugh. Am I doing it backwards? Is that the problem? No, it's just not the right size. Oh, man. That snaps in real, real good. But yeah, so it comes with a, a cord. So you can uh, have the Millennium Puzzle as an actual Millennium Puzzle. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool. And I was incorrect. It's not like a little model kit. It's just a little standy. But let's see how cool it is. So it's sort of chibified Winged Dragon of Raw. Not bad. Sculpting's pretty good. Painting is minimal, but that's all right. There's not a lot of colors on the Winged Dragon of Raw. And yeah, no, that's pretty neat. I like that. I, I, it's not uh, really poor quality like a lot of these smaller things usually are. Like, the painting will be really, really crappy, or the molding is really bad with giant mold lines. This looks fine. This looks fine. It's very rubbery. I mean, is this, like, $3 worth of rubber and plastic? Probably not. But at the same time, you get the Millennium Puzzle. So you can cosplay as Yugi. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but that is that is all right. Let's see. You know what would be really awesome is if we get all three god cards. I don't actually even know if that's possible, but, man, I want that to be the thing now. Come on. I really dislike this crispy plastic, by the way. I bring this up all the time, but I hate the crispy plastic. Sorry to everyone listening on headphones. Open! Open! Oh, it does not open easily. I'll give it that. Oh, man, come on. And it's not just because I have weak hands, although I do. Uh, so this is Red Eyes, and Red Eyes is not assembled. <laughs> Unlike the Winged Dragon, he is not assembled. Oh, you know what I just realized? Dumb me. There's a standee for the card thing, too. <laughs> Completely unnecessary, but funny. All right, let's uh, stick this together. Ooh. Man, that is hard to put together. All right, let's see. Red eyes. So we got two dragons. That's cool. I like dragons. I like how Red Eyes is completely unassembled. You've just got his head. <laughs> Red Eyes has some wild poses on the cards. He's also such a weird dragon. He's got such a big beak. Him and Winged Dragon both actually have quite the beak. They're more of a, a bird than a 
than a dragon, it feels like sometimes. What a weird, weird assembly. I think that's right. Come on, how do I put you together? Maybe I should have put him together without his head first. The only issue I'm having with uh, this one is that putting him together is not really that simple. It doesn't really, like, um, click together. Obviously, it's rubber, so you just kind of have to push it and hope that it sticks together. Now, this one I'm not nearly as uh, impressed with. I mean, it's okay, but the pose is super strange. And, I mean, that does match some of the... Uh, the red eyes cards that are out there they're very weird and he's always in strange poses but that that doesn't mean i like it that way you know it would been really cool i'm i'm sorry I'm, I'm jumping from sentence to sentence without much of the way of pausing uh if these were hollow if these were holographic like that old kind of like old sticker hollow that they used to have that'd be really cool i also really like this art of uh red eyes as i was saying he always has his head bent in a weird way so like that part's accurate and I mean, they do look nice on the shelf together. It's just otherwise, meh. I prefer the winged dragon. All right, so if we're going to keep up the dragons, I want Slifer or Blue Eyes on this one. No, nah, we don't want Dark Magician or... I mean, Obelisk is cool. I'd take an Obelisk. I don't, again, know if he's available. And they don't give you a collector's guide inside of these, so you have no way of knowing what you could still get. Come on. More crispy plastic. Let's see if I can open this one without struggling for an hour and a half. No, I can't. Ah, there we go. Hey! The dragons continue. We got blue eyes. Blue eyes, white dragon. Kaiba's ace monster. Ugh. There we go. Three millennium puzzles, so three people can be Yugi. Alright, so let's take a look at the card first. I don't like that. <laughs> so these ones have like the full, full-ish body of the character showing, and this one is just like his torso and up. I don't know why they couldn't have just done the whole thing, but oh well. I guess we'll live. But we did get all dragons, so that's cool. And I know that there was a dark magician in here, so that wasn't a guaranteed thing or anything. So neat. And again, he comes unassembled. <laughs> I love how the winged dragon's the only one that came together. Look at his head. Weird. This does make me think more of Toon Blue Eyes than regular... Oh, my. Look at that neck. That is... Um. <laughs> I mean, I guess in this art here, Blue Eyes has a super long neck, but I never really think about Blue Eyes having a neck quite that long, but whatever. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's... um. That is just weird... What a strange pose. I really don't like the right angle neck. <laughs> Man, I thought freaking Red Eyes had a terrible pose, but that Blue Eyes takes the cake. Man, that is insane. What a weird pose. Like, they had to make poses for this. So, Wing Dragon, which is by far the best one so far, um, he's just kind of standing in one place, which is fine. That's that's what you want. That, that looks good. He's gold, got gold paint. Love him. Really cool. Red eyes, um, sort of like broken winged on the back there. Uh, he's got a sore neck looking sideways. And then blue eyes is just dead. Like this, this looks like blue eyes ran into a wall and just hit it really hard and it just completely broke his neck. It's horrible. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look terrible. Like, the three of them together look all right. Like, it's not... They're not, like, awful. It's just... What a stupid pose. <laughs> what a really, really stupid pose. Oh, man. Were these worth $3? I think so. I really enjoy the fact that they come with uh, a Millennium Puzzle. With, uh, with a string and everything. So you can, like, use it as... <laughs> 
You could you can actually just use it as a necklace if you wanted to, which is super funny to me. I mean, this is adding to the price tag. They're trying to justify the three dollars per price, but at the same time, like instead of just putting it in a plastic ball that you're just gonna throw out, you at least have something. Oh no, I've hooked them. Uh, you've at least got something that you could uh, use for. I don't know what you'd use it for, but it is funny. And man, does it, it, it closes good and proper. So you can put something valuable in it because you'll never get it out again. Oh, man, that is insanely hard to open. <laughs> it's not just because I have weak fingers. Uh, anyways, I'll do it for this episode, guys. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's cool. <laughs> All right, guys, bye-bye.